So, good morning everybody and welcome. It is another fine day in the Philippines. It's the 30th of July at like 7.04 in the morning. And uh, about to get busy on one of my other tasks to meet a deadline here. And let's get rid of all the food trash and today you can get rid of biodegradable materials. So leaves, branches from the trees that fall off, stuff from the garden, anything like that. So, and I'll try to take the leaf blower out and try to get up some of this stuff real quick. Get it packed in one of those bags over there and then all outside the gate. So, let me get busy on that because I bought a few gadgets to try to make things go good. I got like 55 minutes or about plus or minus whatever 10 minutes before the trash truck comes around. So let me get this leaf blower out and get busy blowing some leaves and I'll be back. So this is the uh, leaf blower I picked up off of um, Amazon. Works pretty good. And you would be wondering like how you gonna clean the yard with that. This thing is very powerful. Picks up everything, the leaves wise and um, and I just blow it around in a circle in a big pile and then rake it up. Makes the job go really fast and easy. So we'll check this out. And one more adjustment to see how the pile is coming.
And that is the quickest way to clean the yard up. Ain't 100% perfect, but it's a lot better. Having this thing here. So I got the pile here ready to go. You gotta keep track of the time. Get together the other trash, so I'll be back. So coming back in again, that pile is gone. There's only a few gravel laying on the ground, but pretty much it's not a hundred percent, but you can clean up the yard. If you got a big place like this, you need all the help you can get. So I really would recommend the leaf blower. Because you can do your whole heart, your whole yard in almost no time compared to sweeping with these brooms. It, it's a lot of work. So get rid of all the food and bo trash. Got to get some string and tie this up and open up the gate real quick, cause. Well, I'm still good. I got over 30 minutes before they might show up. So hang on a minute. And so I got some uh, string, or as Filipinos call it, straw, to tie up this stuff here, pick up the few guava, and set all this stuff outside the gate. So I am going to just down and complete that then that's my main task for the for the day the rest is just enjoy myself might just cruise around do a little video in the city but i'll see since it's a relatively decent day didn't have much rain yet so hopefully that holds off let me see if i get a shot of this yeah, I think I can. Sure, I'll probably edit it, but let's get busy on the stuff for Tuesday to get rid of. The gloves are real important. Everything tries to bite you. what it looks like so still got to clean up my mess there but overall don't look too bad so so we're having to get rid of a ton of stuff that was left over 
from building this house here. So it's gonna take a while. Got this little Kubo back here. That's got a ton of things in it. So it's, it's a work in progress, <laughs> so I can only call it. But we'll continue working to beautify the place. So that's all the bio degradable trash, food trash, as everybody has. Neighbor walking the baby. There she is. So uh and it's 740, so I'm way ahead of time here. And of course, gotta clean up out here. This usually gets to be a mess. Especially from the neighborhood dogs. They found the perfect place to use the bathroom right here on this driveway. So, it's another issue for another day. So, that is that. I'm going to sit down and have another cup of coffee. But as you see, I do have a lot of little things to clean up in the yard. You know, my lovely Asawa would be like, what is this? And it's like, well, baby, um, but she's not here right now, but she'll probably watch the video. So I'll get all that clean. Probably with the leaf floor. And then maybe tomorrow, I'll take the weed eater out, cut the grass in the back. And I bought a lot of little gadgets. Let me close this gate because neighborhood dogs are being here tearing the place up. That's a constant issue, you know. I tried having a garden, but uh, I think I replanted four times because the dogs would come in. But we don't have so much of a problem anymore because the neighbors built the fence around their property. That's where they were coming in and just destroyed a garden. So that's been fruitless. But the property back here looks pretty good. Like I said, I just gotta do some weed eating. Took a few months hand pulling all the weeds out so that the grass could grow. But it looks a lot better now. It's more grass instead of crazy weeds that were growing. It was scary. So it took a bit of time pulling all the weeds out by hand, but every day I started back here first, pulling weeds, pull out 500 of them, it was only a billion. Then I noticed the grass started spreading better and the weeds weren't coming back. Then had to do the same thing up there, pull, 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 and that let the grass grow out and it looked like the grass blocked the weeds. So it takes a couple months of time and patience, but you can grow some wonderful grass in the Philippines. I thought you couldn't, but everybody's yard was like this, rocks. Now, it'll get covered with grass if you let it, but like I said, it takes a while to get rid of the weeds. And so without boring anybody more, of course it's humid here. Sweating. So I'll sit down and have a cup of coffee, cool off, take a shower, and go do something else. It may just be break time. Go for a nice little drive around because it's a nice morning. And then, uh, well, it's early. So I may do something around the house until maybe 12 and then get cleaned up and do something enjoyable. You know, I don't have anything really to go get, I don't think, today. So, yeah, we shall see. The day is young. So, 
put away my little tool quick so things don't look a mess. You know, pick all this stuff up, set it back up. So, so it looks like a organized mess. We'll say it like that. That's how we say it in the army. <laughs> An organized mess. Because I know if I leave things laying around too much, our son, when he drives out, he won't look for nothing. He'll run over everything. <laughs> just like, just like, you know. But I pay attention to it, where things are laying. So, other than the little debris from the cutting and stuff I've done, it's, it's looking okay. So, paper and plastic trash went out yesterday, stuff going out today. So, now, work on the new pile for next week, and I'm sure we'll have something because I already see at least one banana leaf that fell, that's dead, broken, so I have to get the little electric saw out, cut that down, cut it, cut it in half, see what else falls down that I have to cut up. So, uh, oh yeah, there's, you have a house. You don't have time to sit around and be bored. You gotta find some time for yourself. That's the thing I notice, but I will. Got a lot of ideas about things, so we shall see. Thank you for joining me on this fine day. Please come back. I love the comments. And I'll see you again. Y'all have a great day.